You know, this consistent character thing, it's the number one question we get. I know. And it's honestly just that Veo 3.1 workflow. You know, quantum theory says everything can happen at once. Then maybe truth isn't one thing. It's all of them waiting to be seen. Certainty kills discovery. Every equation is uncertain. Sometimes the answers are simpler than we expect. But the questions never stop changing. Hey friend, it's Nova. Welcome. Today, I'm showing you how to create a conversation scene with two characters. But this is not a demo. I'm sharing the actual tips I'm using, including the clear prompt structure I've found that works. So you're not just wasting credits. Now, our creative partner for this video is JXP. It's a platform that puts different advanced AI models all in one place, like Nano Banana, Sea Dream, Sora 2, and the Veo 3.1 we're using today. Plus, it has the lip sync and audio generation tools built right in, and you can switch between all these models really easily. Let's get started. Here we are in the JXP main interface. We're going to go to video and select Veo 3.1. Now, this is the main page. You'll see Veo 3.1 updates here, especially for handling multi-shot frames and keeping characters consistent. Okay, before we get to the exact prompt structure, the first and most important step for consistency is to use ingredient to video. You just start by uploading your character reference images, one for each character you're using, and you should also upload your background, or really, any other element you want to lock in for the video. Next, we just add our prompt and set our resolution. And, okay, let's see the results. You know, quantum theory says everything can happen at once. Then maybe truth isn't one thing, it's all of them waiting to be seen. You know, quantum theory. Awesome, right? All we're doing here is just describing the scene in natural language. We're just telling the AI. First, show us the old man in his chair saying his line. Then, cut to the young woman as she replies. And finally, show us a wide shot of both of them in the room. So, here's the exact prompt structure I'm using. The timestamp tells VO when to cut. The shot type is your camera setting. The description is what's happening, and the dialogue is just, literally, what each character says in the conversation. You just stack these commands for every shot you want. Okay, so let's try a new conversation with the same characters. Veo 3.1 has an 8 second total limit. The key is to match your dialogue length to your timestamps, all within those 8 seconds. So just balance your shot length with your dialogue length to get the pacing you want, and keep the total under eight seconds. Certainty kills discovery. Every equation is uncertain. Before we move on, I wanted to share a few extra little tips I've learned, mostly from trial and error. I've found it really matters what order you upload your images. If character one is speaking first in your prompt, make sure you upload their reference image first. The AI seems to map them in that order, so it just helps avoid any confusion. Another thing. Just try to give the AI one main action, camera direction, or lighting cue per timestamp. If you ask it to do too much at once, it can get confused. Also, if you're using a tool that doesn't have a special box for them, I found it's best to put them on a completely separate line. Try not to mix your do and don't commands in the same sentence, like smiling, not blinking. Sometimes the answers are simpler than we expect. But the questions never stop changing. Okay, one last tip. If you've watched my other tutorials, you know I love JSON format. But, for ingredient to video, I'm telling you, don't use it. I tried it and I found, like a lot of other creators, that it just doesn't work well. Time is something we can never hold. That's why every moment matters. That's true. Why she ran, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, if you need to add more than three elements to your video, here's how you can do it. Okay, back on the main JXP page, we'll click on AI image, and this time choose Nano Banana. In here, 
you can upload five elements. You just simply prompt what you want to see in the frame and click Generate. Or another great way is to use Seedream. It is awesome because it can handle up to 10 reference images, and it supports 4K quality. So you just upload all your elements, write a prompt to compose the scene. Books hold more than stories. They carry pieces of ourselves. And dreams, too. And that's the entire workflow. I really hope this was helpful. Thanks for hanging out.